Hello all. In this session, we'll discuss topic four of unit five, which is what if analysis and goal seeking. In the last session, we discussed sensitivity analysis. There are two types of sensitivity analysis, which are automatic sensitivity analysis, trial and error sensitivity analysis. Again, there are two types of trial and error sensitivity analysis, which are what if analysis and goal seeking. and also we'll be discussing decision modeling with spreadsheets so we'll discuss first automatic sensitivity analysis automatic sensitivity analysis is performed in standard quantitative model implementations such as linear programming sensitivity analysis is a method used to evaluate how the output of the model or decision changes in response to variations in the input parameters automatic sensitivity analysis is usually limited to one change at a time and only for certain variables sensitivity analysis is provided by solver and almost all other software packages solver is tool often used in spreadsheets software like microsoft excel to perform sensitivity analysis and solve optimization problems like linear programming mbi corporation is using sensitivity analysis to understand how changes in certain factors can impact their net profit specifically they are looking at constraints related to marketing which limits how much of a product can be marketed sensitivity analysis shows that if the marketing constraint like maximum number of cc8 units that can be marketed is reduced by 1 unit their net profit would increase by this much this much dollars this result holds true as long as the constraint does not decrease to zero next trial and error sensitivity analysis the impact of changes in any variable or in several variables can be determined through a simple trial and error approach you can change some input data and solve the problem again when the changes are repeated several times better and better solutions may be discovered such experimentation which is easy to conduct when using appropriate modeling software such as excel has two approaches first one is what if analysis and the second one is goal seeking first let us discuss about what if analysis what if analysis is a structured as what will happen to the solution if the input variable or an assumption or parameter value is changed so what if analysis is structured as what will happen to the solution if the input variable is changed or input assumption is changed or parameter value is changed here are some examples what will happen to the total inventory cost if the cost of carrying inventory is increased by 10% what will be the market share if the advertising budget increases by 5% with the appropriate user interface it is easy for managers to ask a computer model these type of questions and get immediate answers furthermore they can perform managers can perform multiple cases and thereby change the percentage or any other data in the question as desired the decision maker does all this directly without a computer programmer for example when a user changes a cell containing the initial sales from 100 to 
120 for example from 100 to 120 and the sales growth from 3 percentage to 5 4 percentage per quarter the program immediately recomputes the value of the annual profit annual net profit and it changes from 127 dollar to 182 dollars next topic is goal seeking goal seeking calculates the values of the inputs necessary to achieve a desired level of an output it represents a backward solution approach following are some examples of goal seeking what annual r d budget is needed for an annual growth rate of 50 percentage 15 percentage by 2018 so what annual r d budget so this r d budget is the input next how many nurses are needed to reduce the average waiting time of patient in emergency room to less than 10 minutes so here input is number of nurses so let us consider an example uh, goal seeking for saving where the goal is to save money scenario is you want to save 50,000 known information is you can save 4,000 each month goal is how many months will it take to reach 50,000 so goal seeking process sets the total saving goal to 50,000 after applying goal seeking it will take 13 it will come to a decision that 13 months are required to save 50,000 rupees next decision modeling with spreadsheets so spreadsheet tools for modeling spreadsheets with their add-in are commonly used for developing models in business engineering mathematics due to their strength flexibility and ease of use they provide statistical forecasting and database management function dss add-ins add-in add ins means supplementary software so add-ins like solver brain cell evolver risk are used these are some of the dss add-ins next popularity of spreadsheets spreadsheets are the most popular end user modeling tool because they offer powerful financial statistical mathematical and other functions they can perform tasks like linear programming and regression analysis spreadsheet features important features features of spreadsheet include what if analysis goal seeking data management and programmability so next we will consider a simple loan calculation model in excel so in this we use something called as pmt so first let us discuss about this pmt pmt is used in excel so pmt stands for payment pmt function calculates the payment for loan based loan based on constant payment and a constant interest rate so pmt of rate rate is interest rate for each period n per it is total number of payment periods pv it is present value or loan amount loan amount fv is future value which is default set to zero so pmt rate npr npr pv and fv so we have both static and dynamic models spreadsheet can build both static and dynamic model for example figure 1 shows a static loan calculation model where a change in interest rate immediately affects the 
monthly payment so change in interest rate it shows the effect in monthly payment so this is a simple loan calculation model and that too it is static so loan amount is 150000 dollars interest rate is 8 percentage number of years is 30 next so number of months will be number of years that is e 8 e 8 into 12 next interest rate per month so interest rate per month is e 7 by 12 so e 7 that is 8 percentage by 12 next monthly loan payment is equal to so it is around 1100 so pmt of e 11 e level e 11 so e 11 is nothing but interest rate so rate next we have nper which is e 10 so number of months next e 6 pv is e 6 so e 6 so e 6 is nothing but the loan amount so this spreadsheet is calculating the monthly loan payment of around 1100 so this is the static model we can also have a dynamic model so figure to demonstrate a dynamic model where pre payment impacts the principal over time next let us discuss dynamic loan calculation model with pre payment so a dynamic model represents behavior over time so loan calculation in this particular spreadsheet indicates the effect of indicates the effect of pre payment on principal amount over time so this particular part is same like the previous one so loan amount is 150000 dollar next interest rate is 8 percentage next number of years 30 years next number of months 30 into 12 interest rate per month 8 by 12 that is e7 by 12 next monthly loan payment rate is calculated by this pmt next in this dynamic model we introduce a monthly pre payment amount wherein every month 100 dollars are additionally paid so this is the normal payment which is 1100.65 in addition to this 100 dollars are paid so total will be around 1200 now this is reduced from the total amount which is 150000 now similarly copy the cells in 24 that is this one through rows 383 so continue this till 383 to get 360 months of results so copy this drag this till 383 it will complete totally 360 months so totally we get 360 months now if you observe here because of this dynamic prepaid amount of 100 dollars the principal amount is being reduced and it becomes zero in 270 months so a 100 dollar prepayment every month loan is paid off in totally 270 months so this is a static model and this one is a dynamic model Thank you.